I recently got my mind blown by something so simple, but somehow I didn't know it. So I immediately jumped online onto YouTube and saw how many people were doing this, or if everyone knew about this and I just didn't. Surprisingly enough, almost no one was doing it. There were a few smart people that were doing it already, and it's not actually even something new. It's been around for ages, but for some reason, no one is doing it. So I'm gonna share that with you today so that we can all create a more visually enhancing experience for our viewers. It's the aspect ratio that we export and upload our videos in. Cameras all shoot at 16 by nine, so automatically everybody just uploads a 16 by nine, but phone screens aren't 16 by nine, which is where nine out of 10 people actually consume YouTube content. And even if you are on a desktop, your screen is 16 by nine, but nobody really watches on full screen. Normally they're watching it in something like theater mode where that means that that resolution isn't gonna be 16 by nine aspect ratio anyway. So why is everybody uploading in 16 by nine? Not us anymore. We are gonna be doing something else from now on. Instead of having these little black bars on the side here, we're gonna go for full widescreen to have a much better viewing experience and take up more of that valuable screen real estate. So how are we gonna do this? We need to change our project settings to an 18 by nine aspect ratio instead of the original 16 by nine aspect ratio. Most softwares, including Premiere Pro, allow you to enter in a custom resolution. So in Premiere, head over onto sequence settings and change it there. 18 by nine is actually a two by one aspect ratio, but it's referred to as 18 by nine to make it clear that it's wider than 16 by nine. But it's actually a two by one aspect ratio, which makes it really easy for us to figure out what numbers we need to put in here. If you're shooting in 4K, your resolution is gonna be 3840 by 2160. So all we need to do is take that smaller number and instead of having it 2160, we need to make it half of 3840, which is gonna be 1920. So you just half that, make sure the little lock icon is not on so that you can have a flexible aspect ratio and it's not gonna be locked to each other in that 16 by nine. That is gonna be an 18 by nine aspect ratio. You can see it just takes a little bit off the top and bottom, making it that much wider. And when we upload it to YouTube, it's gonna fill those black bars either on your phone or on your laptop or TV when you are in theater mode. YouTube actually supports an even wider aspect ratio, things like 21 by nine, but the mistake here is that you lose features on YouTube but like you can't have end screens anymore. For me end screens are really important because I like to put a little subscribe icon and a recent video in that end screen and if you do any wider than that YouTube is not going to allow you to use end screens anymore. So an 18 by 9 is perfect for me. If you're on a phone, you're still going to have your little uh, dynamic island or whatever. It might still be a little notch in the frame. It doesn't bother me, I think it's fine. And when you're on a desktop or something like that, just getting rid of those black bars makes a much better viewing experience for the person watching your video. You've gone cinematic mode, filled that screen, and you're taking up the valuable real estate that everyone's fighting for. If you're shooting in normal 1080p, do the same thing. So 1920 by 1080, just make the 1080 half of 1920, which is this, I don't know, off of the top of my head but you just half it, it's two by one, super easy, super simple. The next thing you're gonna do is export your video. Make sure that when you do export it, it has the same export resolution to match that aspect ratio, and then you just straight upload it onto YouTube and it's gonna fill in that black, it's gonna be so much better. So I hope that helps some of you guys. This was mind blowing for me. I don't know why I haven't been doing this the whole time, it's something that I just didn't even notice, but then when I did go look at like, some people, smart people, uh, tech savvy people, they were doing this, so it makes total sense. Um, it's a pleasure. You guys can also do it now. <laughs> so hopefully I'll be seeing your videos in full widescreen without those annoying little black bars. Have fun, bye.